In this video, we are going to run through how an oblique plane cuts a simple object like a hexagonal base pyramid. In the question, we are showing our pyramid in our plan and an elevation. We're also showing the traces VTH. We're also given information over here, it's like the height. The height of the cone is 100 millimeters. From the XY line down to the center of the pyramid is 70 millimeters, and each side of the base is 50 millimeters. We're also given the angle of the VT, the angle of the HT, and where the VTH hit the XY line. So we're going to start off with the construction of this question. To begin with the XY line and the plan. The plan is a hexagon from plan. And then we bring our corners up to get our elevation, which is 100 millimeters. Next is the VTH. That's the construction done. Now that we have the construction done, it's time to solve the problem. In order to find where the plane cuts the pyramid, we need to get the plane as an edge view. Take a second to try and figure out how we are going to get the plane to become an edge view. We're going to take an auxiliary elevation of the plane VTH. We're going to do this by extending our line HT up and get the next one Y1 line. Now we need to find the true inclination of the line VT. So we're going to take a point anywhere on the XY line, extend it straight up until it hits the point, hits the line VT. We're going to bring the point that's on the XY line up parallel to HT and extend it past the X1 Y1 line and we're going to take the height from the XY line to the VT and extend it up here like so. We're going to join this point to our X1 Y1 line and get a true inclination of the plane. Next we're going to bring up our plan which is the hexa hexagon up until we get within our auxiliary elevation. Now we've got three points or three edges where this plane cuts the pyramid. If we bring these points down, we see where the plane cuts the pyramid. It cuts it here, 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 and here. Problem is, where does it cut along this green line? We should take a second. I look at the information we have got from the auxiliary elevation to try and solve this problem. What does the auxiliary elevation give us? It gives us points where it crosses, number one, but it also gives us height. So we, need, we have to transfer this height to our elevation. How are we going to do that? Well, we have a H2. We're going to extend it across. Doing that, we get two points. These two points, we're going to bring them down to our, our plan. And we've got these two points here. One here, and the other one here. Now, our points that we have on our plan from auxiliary elevation, we're going to bring these up to our elevation. Now we're going to finish the question by joining these points together. There's our plan and there's our elevation. And to finish the question, you have to leave the construction of the pyramid in hidden detail. A dotted line. That's the question finished.